Good evening, my name is Janelle Smith and the topic I chose for this final assignment is whether or not public schools should be all year round. My personal opinion on that is no, I don't feel like they should be, but every parent has their own opinion. I feel like that children of all ages deserve to have that type of freedom for summer vacation after working so hard to accomplish everything they already have. And that goes for teachers as well. Teachers deserve that extra break from having to deal with our kids the whole day. So a little bit of information on this topic. So it started back in 1968 over in Haywood, California at a school called Parks Elementary. That is where it started and that was the first uh, year-round school in the modern era. Um, although in 1904 over in Indiana they created a new concept called the extended school schedule which is almost like the like all year round schooling um, so I guess that would have came before Parks Elementary but it started like early between 1800s 2000s there was um, 415 schools with roughly 350,000 students and those numbers increased as the years went on Children and preteens, I feel, only have one, you know, chance to get to live the opportunity of elementary school, middle school, and high school. Um, so I feel like they should, you know, take that time and use it wisely. They, sh they should focus on schoolwork and they should do everything basically it takes to succeed at life. Um, so there are so many pros and cons that I have found research for um, based on my research. So pros meaning yes, let's go for it. So some of the yeses that I had found was that um, it reduces learning loss for over summer break, which means like if you're in school all year round and you have shorter breaks, that gives you the chance to remember everything you learned that, you know, that prior month or so compared to taking three months off and having to relearn everything. Um, you get evenly distributed breaks for a summer vacation. Um, you can consistent year-round child care because we all know that can be very expensive. And, and you can also make your teaching career a full-time profession without having to find something different during the summertime. Um, some of the no's I found or cons were that the cost to implement a new schedule, meaning the cost what it would complement to hiring new teachers, to um, you know learning techniques and stuff like that have higher operating costs in the summer so and like you have to keep the school obviously running in the summertime but if no one's in it then you know what's the point of paying electric bill or the heat bill or make sure the food is fresh if the kids are gone for three months um so there's no and then that leaves us with you know no summer jobs for teens which means no money to do anything vacation wise or even just for fun um Students wouldn't be able to do sports or a summer camp if school wasn't, if the school was all year round. And it's very t challenging to pay teachers for all year round work. With the economy these days, it would be a challenge to make sure those students were able to meet that criteria for their payments. So all year round school calendars offer the same 160 to 180 days of normal schooling. Um, the traditional, you know, nine-month day calendar. The difference of the school vacations are distributed over the year. Um, the long summer breaks believed to be have cre created to ensure children were home to help parents, like back in the olden eras, help parents harvest crops for family farms. Um, so the way that works is you have 45 days in school, 15 days outside of school, and you go. And it's the same, it's three different schedules. So you got the 45, 15, and you got 60 days in, 20 days out, 90 days in, 30 days out. Now that can get kind of confusing, but everyone, you know, chooses their, their path wisely. Studies have shown that low-income families um, benefit from all-year-round schooling because it saves them money out of their pocket, out of their pockets in the long run. But I, I honestly feel that school should, you should be able to enjoy summer vacation and just to enjoy what it's like to, to have a life outside of school. Thank you.